Hello humans, it's just Martine, and welcome to a couple really busy days in my life. It's Monday morning at 8.58 a.m. and I'm about to get ready to head to class. I have three classes today, so I'm basically going to be sitting in class all day. I also have some work I need to get done, like thesis work and all of my other daily things like Anki, my writing, some reading hopefully, and my memory training. For right now, I need to prep for class. Okay, after my class, I went and had a quick lunch in the dining hall, and now I'm headed back to the building where all my classes are today. I'm going to set up and finish my writing for the day, and then it should be about time to get to class, so that's where I am. from class, two out of three done. I did finish my writing for the day. In between my classes, like I aim to, I got out of my second class a little bit early and now I have about an hour before I have to leave again and I'm going to sit down and hopefully get some work done. Water tastes so good. I'm gonna put my stuff down and then figure out a plan. In between my afternoon classes, I let my computer charge and I sit here and do some work on it while I have like a snack and stuff. So I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start by doing my Anki for the day and then probably going to shift into thesis work because that's the main thing outside of going to classes today that I like really need to accomplish. So basically Anki, if you haven't heard of this, it's a flashcard application and it really helps with spaced repetition and distributed practice. And I'm using it for two things right now. One is to nail down my specific memory techniques. So in order to do my memory training, I'll go into this in a separate video, but you need to set up systems. So for my systems, I have different flashcards and I go over them. And then for my legal psychology classes, we study a lot of like court cases. So I also put those into Anki. And today I have like around 70 cards to do. So I'm gonna do those and I'll get back to you afterwards. Here's my Anki proof. I did it, nothing's due, let's go. Okay, I really have to work on my thesis right now though, even though I don't want to. I'm gonna put on some music and work on it. That's what I'm gonna do. It's just past three o'clock and I'm about to head off for my 3.30 class because it's like all the way across campus and I like getting to class around 15 minutes early. So I did some work on my thesis. I found as many articles as I could about the specific topics that my advisor suggested I researched this past week. I didn't find exactly what I was looking for in some instances, but I did find some really exciting articles, like one that had an experiment that shows that mindfulness increases source monitoring which is really good for my hypotheses and views on a previous study and then i found one that was co-written by like a buddhism expert and a neuropsychological expert that looks at mindfulness and its operationalization so that's really interesting and i just kind of skimmed that a bit and then i was writing because my thesis advisor told me to start writing just anything about it because that's how you get better. So I was writing basically about the introduction of mindfulness into mainstream society through the mindfulness-based stress reduction program by Dr. John Kabat-Zinn and how he basically influenced the modern psychological conceptions of mindfulness in comparison to the original Buddhist traditions 
surrounding mindfulness. So pretty interesting stuff, at least to me. That's what I like. I just had part of a cookie and now I'm gonna go to class and listen to jams on the way. Holy cannoli. I just got back from dinner. So I had my 3.30 class and then I immediately went to dinner because that ended at 4.45 and we actually ran a couple minutes over so I just met my sister at the dining hall. Dinner was in. I had my second identical sandwich of the day and it got significantly colder out while I was in my last class and the wind has been blowing all day but like it's cold now and over the next few days the low is supposed to be in like the 30s and I know you fools who live in snowy climates are laughing at me right now but I live in Florida. Central, like the southern part of central Florida. Why? As soon as I have to get out of my room to go to classes again instead of taking online classes, the world is like, but make it cold. I'm not about that. Dealing with that, but at least I don't have in-person classes tomorrow, so I don't have to venture out as often as I did today. I'll be outside for as long. But with that being said, it's just past 5.30, I'm going to call Harris for a bit, and then hopefully I'll be able to start on some of my work for tonight before I have a seven o'clock meeting. Here's my to-do list for today. Here are the things I have left to do. I included some things that are like my habits because I'm so overwhelmed tonight that just I'm writing simple things like call Harris. Check that, gotta check that off. So right now, I think I'm going to do a practice test for my memory class. I'm still going to study for my memory test before actually taking it next week, and I still have a couple days to take different versions of the practice test, but I just wanted to take one for a baseline to see like where I'm at and how much time I have to put in, and I got 100 on the practice test, so that feels good. I mean, granted, I have been sitting in class being like, yeah, I know a lot of these things, and also my professor, presented us with the same information in multiple ways, which of course increases my ability to like connect things and encode them more elaboratively. So in some ways he's done a lot of the heavy lifting, but also some of these things I did know before because I'm interested in memory and I study it, but that's awesome. Now I'm going to do my memory training for the night now that I'm jazzed about memory and I'm not going to tell you how that goes because I'm working on a separate video. It is now 7.10. My meeting got pushed to 7.30, so I've been just doing a little extra work, including filming a couple clips for a couple different videos. And now I'm back to this. So in the few minutes that I have before my meeting, I'm probably going to pace around my room because I have like 500 steps to go for the day and I might do my Bible reading, and then after my meeting, I need to edit a video. That's the plan. Stan, why did I just try to exit out of iMovie when I'm immediately going to put this footage in? It's the end of a day. <laughs> <laughs> it's 8.30, and that meeting sure lasted longer than I wanted to. I did a rough edit of the video, though, while I was in it, so we'll see how fast I can edit the rest of it. It's just past 9 p.m. and I'm exporting my video. And then I'm gonna post it on YouTube and schedule it for Wednesday. I already made the thumbnail earlier when I was waiting for my meeting to start, so that feels good. Okay, it's time to start getting ready for bed. My Apple Watch is fully charged. That's my signal, also I'm tired. I'm going to read in bed for a bit after I'm ready for it, but right now I want to import the rest of the footage from today so that my phone will be having a restful night and it doesn't upload this to iCloud and then take forever to download. It's a whole thing. Anyway, I was just watching the bloopers video I'm working on because I watch it almost every time I open iMovie because I enjoy bloopers. <laughs> Look forward to that in the future. I hope to make lots of blooper videos because I think they're the greatest. Comment down below if you agree. Okay, good night. Good morning. It's almost 8 a.m. I woke up just before 7, watched my two, two morning episodes of New Girl. Putzed around on YouTube for a bit. Kind of agreed to read War and Peace this year. <laughs> and um, now I'm going to get ready for the day. I woke up with a headache. It's like right here and not too noticeable yet, but uh-oh. So my plan for the day, I have therapy at nine, I have a thesis meeting at 10, oh, and I have Bible study tonight at like 6.30. Other than that, I have the whole day to get stuff done. I think what I'm going to do is listen to music while I get ready, because I think I need that today. And then I'm gonna get ready, and then I'll make my to-do list for the day. And then we'll see if I have any more time before a therapist starts. Out of my word goal for today, 
I'm at 921 words. That's out of 1,550. So making good progress. And now it's time for therapy. Last semester, we were doing therapy strictly through phone calls. But this semester, we're trying to use this telehealth thing. And every single time, it manages to kick me out right as my therapist is giving me the first piece of advice of the day. Without fail, she insists that other clients have made it through entire sessions without having to switch to a phone call, but not me yet. Let's try this. I'll let you know how it goes. Of course the video worked entirely this time. The first time this semester that I've cried in therapy again. So she just got to sit there watching me cry. <laughs> Woohoo! And now I have to stop looking like I was crying because I have my thesis meeting in a few minutes, so yay. <laughs> no, it was a really productive session. I have a lot to think about. Back to the productivity. I understand that everything about me is a little loud right now, but I just finished my thesis meeting and it was really good. And he seemed happy with the progress I was making. We have a plan for next week. I feel good about it. And now I'm headed to eat tater tots at lunch. The tater tot bar is here today. I'm ready. My soul, I'll, I'll transcend. I just got back from lunch and going to shipping and receiving to pick up an Amazon package that I had waiting for me. And now I'm going to get back to my writing for the day because I only have like 600 words left to go. So I'm going to set a 10 minute timer and try to write as much as I can. Then I'm going to switch over to doing my Anki for the day. And then I'm going to finish whatever remaining words I have after that Anki session. Cool, let's get it. My writing, done, Anki. Done, my memory training, done. Now I'm going to move on to class readings and responding to discussion posts. I have to listen to this one podcast for my class tomorrow. And usually I listen to podcasts at least at two times the speed, but I can't find this one on say Spotify where I could play it faster. You can only find it on the website of the podcast because it's an older episode. It's from like 2011. You have to listen to this hour long podcast at one times the speed. I'm 20 minutes through and I'm taking a break to do some textbook reading and I'm just gonna flip flop for the afternoon. And it's currently almost 2.30. I took a break from around 3.30 to now it's 4.51 and I'm about to go get dinner with my sister and then maybe I'll get a few more minutes of textbook reading done before I have Bible study and then after that there's a chapter I want to finish in my textbook. There's a short assignment that I want to do and then I would like to start my lab report for this week even if that just means making the document. That's all I need for myself to cross that off. That's the plan for the rest of the night. I'm telling you the best laid plans all I got to do was talk to Harris, and now I have to leave for Bible study. So we'll do work afterwards. It's almost eight o'clock. I just got back to my dorm room and I'm going to quickly work on part of a group project that I told my group I'd be done by Thursday. I don't know what just fell. And then I'm going to continue doing some textbook reading as much as I can tonight. And then once I'm tired enough, I'm going to work on packing to visit Harris. Then I'll go to bed, so. That's the plan. I think I'm going to end this vlog off here. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. How are you doing? What's up? And subscribe for more reading, writing, and college lifestyle content. And until next time, bye humans, bye. <laughs>